Okay, so we're gonna look at changing your pricing plans. Now, pricing plans are another word for packages or membership subscriptions, and in Wix, they're called pricing plans. So you might use pricing plans if you want to offer a, a monthly membership where people are paying each month for a set of services, or you might offer pricing plans if, for instance, they get a discount for booking two appointments at a time or a session, a set of six appointments, whatever it may be. So in Wix, we call it pricing plans. So from the home screen on the left here, go, go to pricing plans. And when it loads up, my computer's always slow because I'm recording these at the same time as <laughs> trying to do them. So when pricing plans opens, you'll see all of your active pricing plans. And if you want to create a completely new one, then click on create plan at the top. Now, if you need help change anything with pricing plans, if you want to create a new plan, then you can open a support ticket and we can set that up for you. Um, but for now, let's say we want to edit this appointment type. So, Remember, your bookable services are separate. So what you charge for them, how they're set up is separate. There's another video on changing your bookable services prices and types. But packages and pricing plans are where they're bundled together. So for instance, here you've got one where if they book two appointments, it costs them £175 for the two appointments. So if you wanted to edit that and change the price or any other details, we'd click on edit. and it will bring up the plan here. So you've got the plan name there, what you want to call it, a description, a list of what's included in the plan. So you can include and add the sort of salesy things, you know, what's included if they take out that plan. The most important thing that you're going to be looking at is down here, okay? And that's what services, what appointments they get included in that plan. So, if they get access to every different appointment type, you want to add them in this plan, okay? If you want to take any off, you just click there. So if you say, okay, they're no longer entitled to home visits in that plan, you take it off. If you want to add more, then you click on the box and then add the services you want. So that's really important. So you might have a different rate, for instance, for home visits than clinic visits or online sessions. So make sure you only put your, your bookable services in here, which are included in your plan. And then you've got here type of access. So for instance, limited or unlimited. Now, if you tick unlimited, they're going to be able to go online and book an infinite number of appointments under that plan for however long that plan lasts. So you want to select limited and then say how many sessions do they get for that plan? And this is set to two sessions. They get two of any one of these. So they could have one home visit, one online appointment, um, one clinic visit and one follow-up appointment. They could have two home visits. So this total allows them to book online on their own after they're paid for just the package for any of these appointments for that number of time. Now you can give them access to exclusive posts. I wouldn't worry about that because your blog you want to be open and, and so it's searchable. And if you want to include any online programs, if you run any courses, etc., then you can give them access there. Down here you select your price and option for that plan. So if they just pay a one-off fee for the plan, then you'd put your price in here so that they pay that up front when they check out and then it allows them to book their appointments. And what they do is they check out with the first appointment they want to book, they select that they want to pay for it by a plan, and then it charges them the plan price. When they want to book their second one, either you can book it in for them from the calendar, or they can go back online and log in with the account that they logged into when they made their first purchase, and the system will know that they've got another, another appointment owing of that type. Down here is length of plan. So what's the time period that they can redeem that plan in? 
So if they've got to take those two appointments in three months, then select it for three months. If it have got to take the appointment within two years, two years, I would always say be realistic and say three months. So that's normally, unless you're doing something really specific, um, where you need to follow up with them in 18 months time or years time, etc., then set it for three months. And then that's the, the period of time that they've got to take their appointments in. Now, of course, you can always manually book them in after that, um, but that's how long it'll be available on the website for them to automatically book it. So if they don't use their appointment, when can they come back to you anytime and book the next one? Reoccurring payments is if you want to take a monthly or regular fee from them. So reoccurring payments, you can say, right, I want to take £175 every month and it lasts for three months. So for the next three months, it will take that amount from them. That's applicable if you're doing more membership, subscriptions, apps, plans, etc. And again, we can set them up for you when the time comes. So for most of the time, you're just editing one-time payments. So you might want to say, right, my new price for this plan is £200 instead of £175. Page permissions is only if you give them access to certain parts of your website. Um, so that's not relevant to, to you. Um, and if you do need to do that, then raise a support ticket and we can set up for you because it's a little bit more complicated. You've got some other options down here. So allow them to cancel the plan from their subscription page on their website and their login. So if you want them to be able to cancel it themselves. You can let people set their own start date. So you can say, right, what day do you want to start? And you can limit it to one person. So if it's only for their first, if it's only an offer available when they first sign up, you can do it there. Again, these are more advanced settings. So I would suggest if you want to change these at any time, raise a support ticket. Tell us what it is you're trying to do and we can make sure it's set properly. And once you're done and you edited it, just click on save and it will save it for you. And then from the moment you save it, that pricing plan will be changed online. It won't affect clients who have already brought that plan previously. They'll still get whatever they got when they got it previously. Um, it will only affect new clients going forward after you've made the change. And that's it. That's how to adjust your packages and pricing plans in Wix. If you need any help, just raise a support ticket and let us know what you're trying to do and we can sort it out for you.